This ancillary video submission is for the article entitled, A Passing Glance, Differences in Eye Tracking and Gaze Patterns Between Trainees and Experts Reading Plain Film Bunyan Radiographs. Our eye tracking system was an externally mounted setup requiring the subject's head to maintain a steady position during testing. For this, we designed a chin rest with an adjustable height. It was assembled from steel and various components, which we welded together. These photographs are during the beginning and testing of our system setup. Subjects were calibrated using a 16-point calibration phase before being shown radiographs. 25 radiographs were selected at random from the Podiatry Institute database based on the patient's primary complaints of bunion pain during preoperative history and physical assessment. The anterior-posterior view of the bunion deformity was presented to two groups of test subjects. One group, the novice group, was comprised of students and junior residents, while the advanced group was comprised of attendings with a minimum of six years of surgical experience and certified by the American Board of Foot and Ankle Surgery. Each participant was asked to rate the severity of the bunion deformity as one of four options, either no bunion, mild, moderate, or severe. Participant ratings were recorded for each of the 25 images. During this testing, eye movement and gaze patterns were recorded and correlated with the images presented on screen to the testees. Shown here are a few examples of the correlated gaze patterns of the participants. Notable differences are visible with regards to time spent and locations of gaze activity. This data may be presented in a variety of ways. This first example is a heat map. This is generated by accumulating all gaze data between the subjects. Here, attention is concentrated within the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. This data can be split between the novice and advanced groups, where the differences in gaze location are better demonstrated. Advanced surgeons appear to spend more time and attention on proximal kinematic joints, while the novice groups spend more time studying the hallux and lesser metatarsal parabola. This next manner of demonstrating gaze patterns displays the rapid movement of the eye between fixation points, known as saccades. Here, fast saccades are shown as green lines, whereas slower saccades are shown as yellow lines. Movements of visual pause or inspection, known as fixations, are represented as circles. Here, the diameter of the circle is relative to the amount of time spent fixated on each focal area. Larger circles mean longer time spent during the test. Red circles represent a current fixation in progress. Once again, gaze patterns of the advanced group are concentrated at the first metatarsal phalangeal joint and proximal articulations. The novice group behavior is less concentrated and demonstrates significant backtracking across the hallux and lesser metatarsals. This novice behavior is correlated with searching phase type behavior. The results of this study demonstrate the significant differences between the advanced and novice groups. The strongest differences are seen with the bunion images which were rated as moderately severe. Advanced surgeons spent less time evaluating radiographs and demonstrated characteristically efficient gaze behavior. Additionally, advanced surgeons had more rapid saccade velocities, yet higher fixation durations. This suggests that they acquired their target radiographic features at a faster rate, but devoted more attention to these targets in order to make their assessment. Bunion severity ratings were noted to be fairly consistent across both groups. However, moderately severe bunions demonstrated the least consistency among novice subjects. This discrepancy was statistically significant, whereby novice subjects rated the films to be less severe on average. These results are in line with previous studies comparing advanced and novice performers in a variety of fields. This work reinforces the concept that advanced performers have improved accuracy and efficiency while expanding this theory to foot and ankle surgeons reviewing radiographs.